Since there's so much confusion and controversy around what I once thought was a pretty unremarkable program, uh, maybe we should start with just the basics. Uh, Jeff, who gets Social Security? How do you qualify for uh, eventually getting a check? Sure. Uh, everyone who works gets it, uh, pays Social Security tax through a payroll tax. That's the FICA tax that you see on your statement. Uh, you qualify by working a, a couple years and you qualify for the disability and the survivor's benefit. Uh, and it's, it's based on how much you contribute. So if you pay more, you'll get a higher benefit than if you pay less. Okay. And Tell us more, Maria, about that disability and survivor's benefit. If a worker dies at 41 and leaves a couple of kids and a wife or a husband, what happens? As long as they have worked enough quarters to qualify and the requirements for working are different for the retirement program slightly than they are for the disability and the survivor's program, then any children under age 18 are entitled to a benefit. And so um, that helps with families. It's one of the parts of the program that people tend to forget when you talk about private accounts and other things. Most people are focused on the retirement aspect of the program, and they don't realize that there's also a survivors and a disability program. The disability program is really important. Uh, most people who work, work in jobs that don't have disability insurance coverage. And in fact, the more dangerous your job is, the less likely you are to actually have coverage. Whereas Social Security comes automatically when you pay your FICA. You don't choose it, it's just coverage you get. That's why Social Security is considered a social insurance program, not just a retirement program. And people tend to forget that. And if you're in your middle working years now, Gus, uh, you can begin to collect what, at 62, but full retirement age is 67? Yes, that's exactly right. And is that up for uh, another look now? Are people talking about making that age higher? Absolutely. That's one of the, uh, the, the, one of the proposals. I mean, there's a, a cross-section of proposals on how we can uh, fix uh, the impending uh, shortfall in Social Security. Uh, but definitely raising the retirement age is one of those proposals. If you could get it at 62, <clears throat> why doesn't everybody take it at 62? What's the benefit of, uh, of holding on till what's called full retirement age, 67? Well, I think you re receive a, a, a smaller uh, share of what you're, what you're entitled to, and I, I'll defer to Maria on this. I know she knows the details of it uh, more intricately, but uh, you re you'll begin to receive less in, if you do not wait until the... Uh, the, the age 67. What if you wait past 67? You actually get a benefit. You get a bonus. Uh, that's one of the issues that's associated with raising the retirement age that people don't realize. Right now, uh, Gus is absolutely right. The, the maximum retirement age, is the normal retirement age is 67, but it depends on what year you were born in. There are people working today for whom the retirement age is 66 or 66 in two months, which is mine. Everybody has a different retirement age because they phase that increase up to 67 in very slowly. Um, if you take your retirement at 62, it is a very large reduction in benefits. And that reduced benefit continues your entire life. It's not like once you get to your regular retirement age, all of a sudden you get your full benefit. If you opt to take that lower benefit, you end up getting it your entire life. If you can wait and wait until you get to age 70, you get a bonus, and you get that bonus during your entire life. Now, there's really no financial advantage to waiting beyond 70. That's just the way the system's designed. It caps out at 70 and That's right. waiting beyond that. That's is... right. So if they raise the retirement age to 70, all of that additional benefit disappears. And that's one of the challenges and one of the downsides to raising that retirement age is it affects a lot of people and it affects them no matter when they choose to retire, and most people don't realize that. Yeah. Mine's 66 in <laughs> six months. Exactly. Um, and so that puts us in um, August of 2023. I'm counting down <laughs> till, until I'm eligible. Go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, and I, I think it's important to remember that most people don't make it to the normal retirement age, and especially in the Latino community, people have low incomes, uh, people work in very physically demanding jobs. Uh, and it's also it's very difficult for older workers to find new jobs, uh, you know, when they do lose their job. 
You know, I, I had this conversation with my father when he decided to start taking his check. I said, if you hang on for another three years, you'll get a much bigger check. And he pointed out to me that he started going to work full time at 16 and said, I'm tired, <laughs> and, and started taking that money at, uh, at 62.